They want to assume that everything for Victorian women was dreadful. We need a nuanced view of their lives, and that's why we try on Lady Killers to find out what the source's biases might be and to do our level best to listen to those really elusive voices of women from the past. This is superb. Not only because Lucy Worsley is is a fantastic historian working in the public sphere, she must have one of the best history costume cosplay wardrobes of anyone on the planet at this point methinks uh, and also the lady killers podcast is mwah, chef's kiss it's really interesting well worth a listen do check it out but this moment i think encapsulates something that uh, is really important to understand about history education and to really get into into your your brain when you're thinking about the past and that is that actually history shows us that that the trajectory of human kind and human experience isn't a one-way ticket it's not a darwinian sort of pyramid with us at the top having never had it so good and people further down and further back on the timeline suffering having miserable lives less healthy less wealthy less happy less tall all these other things they're less less property so on and so forth history shows us it's not necessarily that simple and uh, in that instance she's talking about the lives of, of victorian women things like wearing corsets if, if they're worn properly, they don't restrict your breathing and lead to, to your fainting off a cliff in Pirates of the Caribbean or something like that. Uh, they're actually designed to be comfortable and to accentuate your figure. This this is important to understand because it, it, it benefits people in power to have people thinking now that they've never had it so good. Another example would be childhood. One of the things I, I point out in primary school classes, heck in university lectures sometimes, is that children in the past 150 years have arguably had the worst lives of children ever in our species. You know, uh, Industrial Revolution, for example, sending kids up chimneys. Heck, a couple of days ago in, I think, Illinois, passing legislation that allows children to work night shifts. Um, Whereas actually in prehistory, when the caricature is that kids would have had a hard life, been kicked out of the tribe if they couldn't hunt properly, so on and so forth, we actually see evidence of play. Uh, even in, in, in places where there's cave art murals, we see kids' fingers tracing on the walls and doing little doodles. Uh, we know that people played, for example, in the Middle Ages, you know, during a stereotypically really hard time to be a child. It's it's interesting this notion that 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 history is a story of of progress and that we're at the top of it, and therefore you should be grateful. Think about who that benefits. 